Hello and welcome to Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below or in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Today, we're on another buffet experience, the Imperial Buffet in Las Vegas. The Imperial Buffet is actually the Imperial Sushi Seafood Buffet and it's located on Spring Mountain Road, not too far from the Strip, so it's certainly a convenient place. Uh, this is um, Asian oriented, I would say, uh, almost a Chinese buffet, but there's a lot of sushi as well. So if you're looking for a really good buffet experience within Vegas uh, and you like sushi, you may want to try Imperial Buffet. So we went very recently in January. The buffet and the surrounding restaurants actually look like a fairly new development, honestly. Uh, but this is uh, certainly one you should take a look at. Um, Christmas decorations were still up uh, during uh, our trip. Uh, and, of course, they were getting ready for Chinese New Year as well. So you can see the interior of the buffet. It's a very large space, actually. And again, lots of social distancing rules apply. You have to have your mask on, uh, except for when you're at the table actually eating. So they have booths and, and regular uh, tables. They do have a few televisions uh, in, in the buffet. So it's sort of... Um, a different experience than many of the Las Vegas buffets, but uh, it's definitely uh, one that is uh, rife with uh, Asian food and and also sushi. So uh, we're going to show you the line and let you see what's going on with the Imperial Buffet. <music> As you, you can tell, this buffet relies heavily on their seafood items, uh, and they have a lot to choose from, for sure. Uh, calamari, both grilled and fried, uh, lobsters, uh, 
shrimp, tempura shrimp. Uh, one of my favorites is the honey shrimp uh, that you saw earlier. Uh, you can see they've got some great soups. They do have dumplings and shumai. Uh, they also have, uh, again, many different seafood selections. And we haven't even gotten to the plethora. And I do mean, mean a plethora of sushi options. But as you can see, heavy on the seafood still, every area seems to have seafood selections. Uh, baked scallop. Chinese broccoli, of course, uh, not seafood, but uh, traditional uh, Chinese buffet style. Uh, they also have uh, traditional items you would expect, for instance, uh, the hibachi fried rice, the noodles. Uh, but again, uh, what you are really going to get here is a huge selection of sushi and seafood items. <music> So you're seeing items like the grilled calamari and the uh, ginger scallion lobster. Uh, and again, very tasty actually. Uh, that honey shrimp uh, was certainly something that uh, we went back for more than just once. And those uh, imperial ribs were very good as well. Uh, and again, the tempura was not bad. Uh, but we have, again, we still haven't gotten to the sushi. But one thing I'll say about the imperial uh, buffet... I was very surprised at the, the, the size of the buffet. It was really good, uh, good size, and, and the line was, was really well, well done. And, and, and again, the, they would put the items on the plate for you. As you can see, they were the ones that, that served you, so you didn't actually serve yourself, which is part of the social distancing protocol. Again, reservations were needed uh, in order to... Uh, attend. I don't know if that has been rescinded as yet, but uh, in Nevada they had for a while reservations mandatory even for buffets. So here you can see some more of the um, 
imperial ribs and the tempura, uh, the egg rolls and the honey shrimp uh, and, and, and the ribs as well. So certainly uh, very tasty dishes, whether you like sushi or not. So um, it's certainly a, a, a good destination for buffet lovers everywhere, uh, especially given uh, the state of Vegas right now with all of the famous buffets, except for the few we're talking about. And we've got several buffets that if you hit the notification bell, you never miss an episode uh, to show you. But we are, uh, you know, highlighting the other buffets that are available. Uh, and this one is certainly a choice if you're coming uh, to Vegas anytime soon, the Imperial Buffet. And now we're starting to look at some of the sushi items and the sashimi items that they have available. And look at the decorations. They do have uh, really cool decorations in this section. This is where they get really creative uh, with the plate and the plating of their sushis. So uh, lots of colorful selections as well. Uh, and a lot of colorful names. Uh, here's their imperial roll, of course, to uh, their, their house roll, if you will. Uh, the Rocky Roll. Uh, lots of really uh, interesting names for some of the sushis. The Rush Hour Roll. Uh, I had never heard of that before. Uh, but definitely uh, Casino Roll I think I've heard before. But uh, but a lot of really interesting uh, uh, names for their sushi. And this is the King Lobster Roll. Uh, so uh, again, creative creative names and, and creative looking. Here's the Tiger Roll. Uh, sushis. So if you are into sushi... Uh, you can, uh, and this is the California roll. <laughs> uh, I think it's supposed to be California, but uh, anyway. And the super Mexican roll, which again is one I've never heard of. Uh, but it certainly was uh, themed correctly because it had uh, some Mexican spices in involved in the caterpillar. And again, a big, a big selection of sushi. So if sushi is your thing, dance girl roll, uh, then you will not be disappointed.
as you can see, the dessert items on the buffet, fairly basic, fairly traditional uh, for Chinese buffets. Uh, they do have ice cream instead of gelato, but the ice cream flavors were pretty good. So definitely not a disappointment, especially after all that really good seafood and sushi, if you're into sushi. Uh, it's definitely a good, a good place to go. Again, if you are a buffet person, this is not far from the Strip, right off of Spring Mountain Road. It's a big space. They do social distance. You don't sit very close to uh, any other tables. It's certainly worth checking out. And again, we have a whole series, so hit the notification bell. Never miss an episode of Media Cafe Travel. Happy Chinese New Year. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.